I was a practicing, sometimes even proselytizing Muslim, that today I would be here right now declaring to the world that I am awesome without Allah. <laughs> I would have never believed you. But like so many others, here I am. For me, the process of leaving religion was actually easy intellectually. It became clear the moment that I looked into it critically, that this just couldn't be the truth of the world. And then I found that I don't believe in this God and... For all practical purposes, yes. Uh, nobody can actually say for certain that anything doesn't exist. Even if he did exist, he wouldn't really be a God worth worshipping. But what wasn't easy was accepting that for so long I had supported a worldview that had brought so much misery into this world. What I would be without religion is actually someone pretty awesome. I am greater without religion. I am an agent in the world. Wake up to your reality, girl. What you doing? I refuse to accept the roles anyone sets out for me. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sarah, you think that you are awesome without the belief of God contradicts studies that's been done in Oxford University and other university. In fact, the level of depression is much more higher in atheist belief than in theist belief. So it is a subjective thing when you say that you feel much more liberated, much more free. It's the idea of having a system built on atheism that's completely immoral and will fall apart almost immediately. And the idea of having a moral system built on atheism, if you examine your atheism closely enough, that moral atheism is basically you separating your morality from your atheism and then ignoring your atheism in pursuit of the morality, which is, well, you can live fine that way, that's fine, but I don't think that that's psychologically sustainable. You also say that that you refuse to let anyone set boundaries or set rules or rules for you. That is irrelevant because as a theist, yes, you do have rules. Like for a Muslim, you have to pray five times a day. You have to do your zakat, charity. You have to do your fasting, Ramadan. Just like that, when you are living here, you have to obey certain rules. You can't cross a red light. You can't park in certain places. You have to pay your taxes. You can't go around raping or murdering. And those are rules that are set and you have to follow. Going against those rules means punishment. So your case of being a non-religious person and saying that you've been much more free and awesome for the reasons that you have given does not at all make any sense. Once again, you may think that you are awesome without Allah, but in reality, you are not at all. You are likely to be more depressed, you are likely to live a shorter life, and that's just because of the studies. Anyway, may Allah guide you and bring you to the truth. Because what you have right now is simply ridiculous and it's not the truth. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.